Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Currently in the stable version of Windows 11, if we just head over to the Windows Security app and head to App and Browser Control. Currently um, for the App and Browser Control, there are two protection options that are available, reputation-based protection and exploit protection. Now, in case you're unaware, Microsoft has been testing a new feature in Windows 11 version 22H2, which is currently in preview in the Windows um, 11 Insider program as I have been posting. And that's a new um, option here for App and Browser Control now, a new security option called Smart App Control, which um, according to Microsoft is going to block apps that they are considering to be um, malicious and it's going to prevent untrusted and other unwanted apps or files from running on your system. Now, uh, recently Microsoft has um, just tweeted over on Twitter that they have made some updates recently to the Smart App Control, which, by the way, is going to uh, be uh, uh, enabled here around just above the reputation-based protection. That's where the new feature will appear once it does roll out to the stable version. And in this uh, tweet, Microsoft has said that they have updated the Smart App Control and have mentioned that they are um, that it's going to now block more file types that they um, uh, are considering to be uh, dangerous um, uh, file extensions. Now, um, the Smart App Control, according to Microsoft, um, can now block .iso and .lnk files, um, which they say can be dangerous as they um, typically have you know malware um, embedded in those um, those different file extension um, uh, files .iso and .lnk, and over and above a whole lot of other .dot um, extensions they've given too many to mention in this video. They say that they uh, the smart app control now can even uh, block .img, VHD and VHDX files and it will stop them now from opening automatically. But um, just to prevent, you know, obviously this gain overboard, they say that they are going to document uh, the blocked extension list and obviously a bit closer to general availability uh, to the release of Windows 11 version 22H2 later this year. They could adjust things so it doesn't become too extreme. Now, um, the uh, smart app, uh, uh, the smart app control, if it does um, block a, a file extension and a file, um, it's going to come up with the message "smart app control blocked an app that may be unsafe," and then it will also say this file was blocked because files of this type uh, from the internet can be dangerous. So that's the little warning message that will pop up on your system. And apparently, for some weird reason, um, smart app control. Um, is only going to be available on new installs. Um, so it won't be available if you have updated your machine. Uh, it's only going to be available on a machine that has a new install or a machine that has been reset. So if you, re if you reset your machine, it will uh, the option will, be, will become available in Windows 11 version 22H2 or if you do a clean install. And Microsoft apparently has said um, this is to basically ensure that no malicious apps or programs are already uh, or are already running on the device. So for them, it's basically a safety net. And apparently, it's first uh, going to um, use an evaluation phase and be in, in an evaluation mode where um, it's going to scan to see if your basically your system so-called passes this the, the tests uh, for smart app control. And if it does, uh, it will then be turned on and if not, uh, then the feature will be turned off. And apparently, uh, once it's uh, turned off, uh, um, you, there is no option to turn it back on without obviously doing a clean install or resetting your device. And then uh, it'll go into evalu evaluation mode. And then if your, your device does pass, then uh, the smart app control will be enabled. So that's just wanted to keep you up to speed with that new feature, smart app control, uh, that Microsoft has been testing in the uh, Windows 11 Insider program with version 22H2, and um, just to um, just keep you up to speed, that um, it now is blocking .iso and .lnk files now as well. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.